Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. I'm Heather, your Saint Mama, and I am here to help you on the journey of wherever you are in Saint land, whether you haven't tried Saint Serenity Foundation yet, or maybe you're already a customer looking to add on, or maybe you are thinking about becoming an artist and you want some tips and tricks. All of my videos are here to serve you. Even if you have an artist already, make sure you go back and work with her, but I'm still happy to help. So today's video is going to be breaking down some of the brand new shades. So spoiler alert, I like them, but let's dive into my no makeup face and chat everything from how to know when you have the right colors to not being scared of things like color matching because it's not as intimidating as you think. And sometimes trying a new color and especially by going maybe a little bit darker than you think can be the magic for falling in love with this makeup even more. So let's get into today's video. Okay, so in case you missed the big news, Saint has launched several brand new 3D foundation shades and y'all, they're really good. So I'm actually gonna be trying two of them for the very first time on myself today. I don't know if they're gonna work, we'll see. <laughs> but that's, you know, part of my kind of experiment with trying this is just to take that intimidation factor out of trying new colors with Saints. So whether you are an artist like me and you just kind of wanna know what colors work for certain people, the best way to learn is just to try it on yourself. And then of course, if you are an artist and you're just a customer kind of trying to scope out what these colors look like, hopefully this will kind of help give you the idea of if the new colors could be right for you. So I right now have no makeup on. This is my bare skin, middle of summer. So this is probably about as tan as I get without getting a spray tan. I did go ahead and do my eyes. And I usually, just for reference, I usually wear Athens as my main highlight color. I can also wear amber. That's what I've been wearing prior to Athens coming out. I can sometimes wear sandy. Sandy pulls like a little, it's just not like the perfect color. I could wear it if I wanted to, but Sandy's not necessarily my perfect color. And then in the winter time, I can do candlelit as well. So that's my main highlight color, which is meant to just give coverage to the areas on your face where you want just a little bit of coverage, but it's not meant to be like a full all over your face foundation, like a liquid foundation that you're used to applying. Okay, but you probably already know that. You just probably are like, Heather, get to the colors, let's see. But then other colors are for some people meant to be brightening shades. So they're more meant to pull out the lighter tones in your neck or kind of enhance the sometimes golden or more fair tones that will show up in some of the different parts of your body, if that makes sense. And then of course, for the fairest of fair, sometimes those colors will work for someone as a full face color. And as a general rule, I do find that women over, definitely over 40, but especially over 50 or so, tend to go a little darker than people think. And then women, I would say under 25, tend to be a little bit lighter than you think. So even if you're looking at the same exact color, sometimes it can, you know, the if it looks like they're the same, the mature skin is gonna need to go a little darker versus the younger skin can pull a little bit lighter. So just keep all that in mind whenever you're trying new colors. But what I'm gonna do today, so I have my little, my little floor palette here where I'm gonna try the new Hazel which is technically between sandy and mango. So a little darker than what I usually ever wear. So it could be, could be too dark, we'll see. <laughs> and then palace. So palace is, I think gonna be an interesting brightener for me. It's much more pink than anything else that we have in the line. I can actually pull up a little swatch to show you some of these colors compared to some of the other popular colors from our collection. And I can also show you actually right here what Palace looks like on my friend Erin as a main highlight, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm interested to see that as a brightening highlight for me. No idea if it'll work. We'll see. And then this guy is Cedar, and I love it. I have already been using it. I guess I've had her for just a few days, and the last several times I've done my makeup, I've been using Cedar as a contour, and it's great. It's meant to be a little bit of a deeper olive, but maybe a little warmer than Astoria but not as like scary as indigo, if that makes sense. Although I love indigo. And then finally, this is August, which is the shade of the season that is limited edition. So at the end of September, it will be going away, hopefully not forever, but that's the one I'm gonna use because I'm loving it. Okay, so let's dive in and let's give this thing a shot. So I'm gonna start with Hazel and this is my 
main highlight color and I'm going to start with kind of putting it on the beard area. I mean, that's pretty. Got a little redness there, so I'm going to kind of cover it there. And I'm going to cover my chin. Ooh. Okay, so let me get a little closer. So it is it is like a little warmer than my actual skin tone. But at the same time, it's got a nice neutral going on with it. And when I say neutral, sometimes things like mango can pull a little yellow or kind of orange. And this definitely has like that warmth. But it's not as like flat, I would say, as a sandy. So I'm not, we'll see when this all comes together. I'm not saying this is my spot on perfect shade. I do think it's like a tidge dark, but I actually think it's going to be pretty. And it's maybe going to be like an alternative to getting a spray tan for me. So it's going to add a little bit of tanness. And when it all comes together, I think it's not going to look like it's too dark for my skin. So that is hazel. I like it. All right, let's do the cedar contour. So I usually do apply my main highlight first just because I've got some redness that I like a little bit of extra coverage. Usually when I'm teaching people to try the makeup, I will actually do the contour first because so many people are intimidated by the contour and this is meant to be a one layer. So in an ideal world, you're not putting layer and layer of products on your face. It's paint by numbers, one layer. And of course, I've done a lot of basic videos. If you're brand new to Saint, I will drop one of my favorite really basic videos right up here for you to check out if you want to better understand how the basics of it work. But for me, because I like a little bit of coverage, I do usually do my main highlight first. Okay, there's my contour. I'm gonna use it to sculpt out. And cedar, like I said, I already knew I loved it, but if you wanted to see it in action, you can see that it definitely is cool enough to create the sculpt but it's kind of warm enough to pull out the tan from my body, okay? All right, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Let's move on to the brightening highlight. So this is the one that I have no idea what to expect. So it's called Palace, and I'm using my little detail brush, and I'm gonna follow my normal rules of just putting it right in the inner corner and the outer corner. And I'm not putting a lot on, because you never want to apply a lot of product in this area because it will, that's the only thing that'll cause it to settle under your eyes. Okay. It's pretty. It's simple and it is a little, let me get a little closer. Like I think because it's like, it's not putting as much of like a pop as like a linen, I would say, but it is like a soft light, almost like a lighter white peach pretty. Okay, let me put a little bit and kind of fan it out right here in the center of my face. So once again, I don't know that this is necessarily my perfect brightening color. It's not what I would color match myself, but it's always super fun to kind of try these things out and see how it works. And that's the best way to kind of figure out like, okay, if on me, it pulls a little dark or pulls a little warm or it pulls light or chalky, then I can kind of know when I'm comparing it to someone else, how it might work for them. And you never know unless you try, right? Okay, pretty. What do you guys think? Okay, now I'm going to finish off with a little bit of the August. So August, again, is the shade of the season, only around for a little bit, but it's kind of like a, like a glossy or like a semi-gloss. And it's kind of like a glossier version of Nude, which is one of our best sellers, most universal shades. It is, it's a good one. And I really love it on the lips, but it's pretty on the cheeks too. So I'm going to take a little bit of the cedar. A little fun fact, this is how you can get plump lips without some injections because I'm the chicken and don't do any of that stuff. I recently get microneedling and it's definitely been like kind of nice for my, my skin. Okay, so let's finish off with the August on the lips. And then the last step that I want to do is use the cedar in my brows. So this is a fun little trick if you haven't done it before, where you can see if your contour color could work as a brow shade. So I'm using the line brush and I just fill in 
on the kind of outer top edge and the outer bottom edge of my existing brow line, kind of enhancing that little point right there through my pupil and then pulling it down to finish off that little tail. Because again, as we age, I am 41. I'll be 42 here in a couple of months. Is that right? Yes. So talks to you guys to forget how old you are. Yes, I'm 41. And I find that like as we age, our little brows tend to get a little bit more, more sparse. And so I love filling them in. And I love, I usually look for kind of the roots shade to kind of match the perfect brow color. And while something like an oak or even a trust eyeshadow can be great, probably my favorite brow color has been Astoria prior to Cedar. But I'm kind of digging the Cedar. I'll get real close in a second. You guys can tell me if you think it looks nice and a good balance of being warm and cool. And if it looks natural enough to be in my brows. And I love using the cream products in my brows because it just... It just feels really, really natural. And it's super easy. Because literally, look, there's just, this is just the quad compact. All I have on my face. Okay, so let me get really close. What do you guys think of the cedar in my brows? Okay, so, I mean, what do we think about the hazel? I mean, I kind of think it's a fun summer color. I like it. So again, I, if I maybe had ordered this, like I wouldn't return it. I would just rock it for the rest of the summer and probably go a little bit lighter. I also might, and maybe I will go rinse this out, squeeze it out real quick, and then kind of blend it out to show you what it looks like to take off any excess product and leave like a really natural, subtle finish. This is our little perfecter. So let me go do that and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is. It's nice and big and fluffy, squishy. And I'm just gonna go in and do one more pass to kind of blend. And also, again, to take off any of that excess product. And I think I'll like the color and the coverage even more. Not that I didn't like it before. But I don't know, you guys. That's really pretty. Hazel is a good, 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 good color for sure. Because for it to work for me, and I would say that Sandy and Mango haven't worked quite as well for me in the past when I've tried them. I feel like this is going to be a winner because I think if you normally wear mango and you want something just a little bit less warm, I think hazel is going to be a good one. And again, if you normally wear sandy, but you maybe need something a little bit darker, but maybe not as warm as mango, I honestly, I think hazel could be the perfect fit. Or again, if you haven't even tried sandy or mango, maybe you've been wearing amber, maybe you're getting a little older and getting mature skin, or maybe you've just been spending a lot of time in the sun like me then I would say Hazel would be a really good one to try. And Cedar's a no-brainer. Cedar's like awesome. I think it's gonna be super universal. So then let me show you guys the other two colors that are brand new to Saints. So we have one called Golden Hour, which, oh, actually, yeah, this is the only one. <laughs> this is the only other one. So which I can show you guys Athens and also Nutmeg, which are two of the newer ones. They, they, they aren't brand new, if that makes sense. But this one is called Golden Hour. And so this one I definitely think would be too dark for me or too kind of yellow warm for me. But this one's going to be in between Mango and Goddess. So, yeah, it's going to be a good one, I think, for, for some. But I think it's going to be a little too warm for me. So that one. So the four brand new shades, again, are the Hazel that I have on, the Palace, the Cedar Contour, and the golden hour but then we also have nutmeg yep here we go okay so nutmeg and in case you want to compare it this is newer launched in april of 2023 and so it's a little bit darker than the golden hour and golden hour is a little bit more yellow so i would say nutmeg is going to be more like your darkest neutral shade whereas golden hour is maybe a little more neutral than goddess but it's really pretty and then the other one that you guys have probably heard me talk about that I'm obsessed with, if we have one, if I can figure out where she is, because I'm always stealing her, that is Athens. Here's my love. Love me some Athens. This is such a good color because it is a, another kind of easy neutral that isn't too light. It doesn't pull chalky. 
And so if you've been wearing amber and you want something that's a little bit more neutral, it's a good one. It's really, really good. So I honestly, my prediction is here in the next year that Athens and Hazel are going to become the two best sellers <laughs> within Saint with the highlight and contours. And then I think Cedar is going to become the best selling contour because these are good colors, you guys. So if you've been wanting to try an updated Saint 3D foundation color, these could be your perfect colors. If you already have an artist that you are working with, please work with her. I'd never ever want to steal you guys away. But if you don't yet have an artist that is serving you, I'm always happy to be your Saint Mama. So you can check out the link below down in the description. And you can color match yourself if you do one of the collections, but know that the new colors are not in the collections. So if you'd rather go with a full custom color match, there is a little form that takes just a few minutes for you to fill out in the de description as well. So I hope this video was helpful and let me know what you think about Hazel on me. Here, I'll kind of back up a little bit and I'll post before and after as well. So yay, thanks for watching guys.